വെൽക്കം ടു നിഷ് ന്യൂസ് വീക്ക്ലി ബ്രോഡ്കാസ്റ്റ് റീജിയണൽ ന്യൂസ് ദ ഹെൽത്ത് ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ് ഹാസ് ഇഷ്യൂഡ് ആൻഡ് അലേർട്ട് ടു ഓൾ ഡിസ്ട്രിക്ട്സ് ഇൻ ദ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ടു ബി ഓൺ ഗാർഡ് അഗേൻസ്റ്റ് നിപ ലൈക്ക് ഇൽനെസ്സസ് ആൻഡ് ടു സ്ട്രെങ്തൻ ഡിസീസ് സർവേലൻസ് ആൻഡ് മോണിറ്ററിംഗ് ആസ് ദ ബ്രീഡിംഗ് സീസൺ ഓഫ് ബാറ്റ്സ് ജസ്റ്റ് സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് ദ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഹാസ് സോ ഫാർ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് ത്രീ നിപ ഔട്ട് ബ്രേക്സ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് വൺ ഇൻ ടു തൗസൻഡ് എയ്റ്റീൻ ഇൻ കോഴിക്കോട് a lawn case again in 2019 in ernakulam and again in kolkata in 2021 bad surveillance would be strengthened in all districts and the public alerted of the need to be on guard against nipa file adalats are organized in the general education department and it started on may 9 The aim of the adalat is to deliver government services in a precise and fast manner for the public. As part of the arrangements ahead of school reopening on June 1st, file adalats are organized to dispose of pending files. thousands of people gathered together at tekinkad maidan in the heart of trishur city and enjoyed the trishur puram celebration on may 10 celebrated after a gap of 2 years due to the covid pandemic people thronged the maidan to soak in the carnival spirit over to national news the health ministry said that after receiving the first dose of the covid-19 vaccination a beneficiary needs to schedule for or get the second dose of the same vaccine with the same mobile number used at the time of the first dose of vaccination if a beneficiary uses a separate mobile number for the second dose and schedules a vaccination it will automatically be recognized as the first dose The same identity proof is not allowed to be used across two different mobile numbers. The court of the chief commissioner for persons with disabilities sent a notice to Indigo for not allowing a child with disabilities to board a flight at Ranchi airport. The deputy chief commissioner Mrityunjay Jha said that the court is inclined to take the view that denying access to divyangjan amounts to abuse and exploitation such acts amount to deprivation of the rights of divyangjan the 13 year old child on a wheelchair was not allowed to board a flight to hyderabad as he was in a state of panic according to a statement Cyclone Asani is expected to weaken from a severe cyclonic storm to a cyclonic storm and will likely become a depression on May 12 according to the India Meteorological Department. The IMD said that Cyclone Asani was about 40 km south Machlipatnam in Andhra Pradesh and is expected to move northwards. It also said that the cyclone is likely to move nearly northwards, recurve slowly along Nasapur, Yanam Kakinada Tuni and Vishakhapatnam on May 10 and emerge into the west central bay of Bengal off north Andhra Pradesh coast heavy to very heavy rain warnings have been issued along with the coastal Andhra Pradesh districts
Over to international news. Sri Lanka's Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksha resigned on May 9, hours after his supporters brutally assaulted peaceful anti-government protesters amid a worsening economic crisis on the island. The resignation was accepted and the cabinet stands dissolved as per the Sri Lankan constitution. Eight persons died outside the capital, ensuing clashes and more than 150 people were injured in Colombo. Electric commercial vehicle manufacturer Switch Mobility said it planned to unveil its maiden 12-meter electric bus at the European Mobility Expo in Paris on June 7. Termed Project Odin, the 12-meter bus is expected to be the lightest widely available bus in the market. It says that it has a monocoque design and is equipped with the latest NMC battery technology and Switch's pioneering digital tools. The deliveries for India will start from the next month, according to the company's statement. Special News Indian classical musician and renowned Sandur player Pandit Shivakumar Sharma passed away in Mumbai on May 10 following a heart attack. He was suffering from kidney illness. He was 84. He popularized the musical instrument Sandur in India. He has received many awards. He was given a state funeral and celebrities from different fields paid their respect to the legend. With this news, we come to the end of Nish News Weekly Broadcast. I am Mona Shah, ISL faculty at Nish, signing the news for you along with Ms. Sylvie Maximena, Nish faculty. See you again next week. Thank you.